Pet Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share a story I found on the internet that talks about why you should not dabble in the occult and witchcraft and, and, and Ouija boards or whatever you want to call it, black magic, white magic. You know, this stuff especially is dangerous this time of year. It's, I'm not talking about born-again Christians. You shouldn't be handling that at all because that's touching the unclean thing. That's an accursed thing you're playing with. I'm talking to unsaved people who have no idea that Jesus has all authority over all this. And of course, this girl's mother had no idea as well. Listen to this. A 16-year-old girl was taken to Sacramento Hospital in 1988 where she was treated for severe mental disturbance. She formerly was able to paint beautiful oil paintings of nature and animals. But now all she could paint was hideous, winged demons that drank blood from chalices and wore earrings of upside-down crucifixes, crosses, the sign of the Antichrist. This information was released by her mother to the Roseville Tribune in order to warn parents, warn other parents and children as to what could happen to a child or adult who plays with the occult. The girl had undergone treatment in the hospital for almost one year, yet there was no sign of recovery. As a freshman, the girl was an honor student at Pacer High School in Auburn and did not seem to have any friends who were into the occult. Her mother discovered the dark side in her daughter's character one night when for no reason she pulled out a knife and said that she was going to kill her mother. In the discussion that followed, the daughter admitted to the regular talking, taking of drugs, but none by injection. The girl developed a taste for funeral type music. As the girl's mind began to further deteriorate, she would spit at her mother, hiss, roll her eyes and chant in Latin. Upon searching her, home, her room, her mother found the satanic Bible, ritualistic black candles, bells, a Ouija board, and drug paraphernalia under the daughter's bed. The girl boasted of weird, perverted sex acts with members of the coven. They needed the energy flow to meet the master, but she wouldn't say who they were or where they met. The mother also said that recently her six-year-old daughter had told her that the older daughter had used knives to sacrifice cats, dogs, on the kitchen floor. The mother is a single parent and works outside the home. The older girl had also confided to a relative that she would consider sacrificing a small child as part of a satanic ritual, even her own sister. Because she had no personality, she is not old enough. That's what the girl said, okay. The older girl began reading at the age of two and started by reading her mother's Stephen King books. She also once told her mother that there are only three ways out of the devil worship, out of devil worship, suicide, being killed by another devil worshiper, or becoming insane. Yeah. It is also sad that the mother of this mentally sick girl does not know Jesus and his power to set someone free from demon possession, which is what happened to this very unhappy 16 year old girl. The tragedy is that she is not alone. Even every, excuse me, every Halloween, thousands of young children are introduced to the occult.
cult by their parents. Duh. Church. Uh. School. Mm. And others. Is that a trip or what? Yeah. And you wonder why I'm always warning you about eye gate, ear gate, everything that you take in, input, output. You can't just read anything. You can't just watch anything. You just can't entertain whatever you want to entertain just because it's fascinating, enticing. No, you can't do that. You have to be careful. You have to guard yourself. No one else will. All right. I hope that put a little heebie-jeebies in your blood. That was my point. Because sometimes we have to be scared straight. You get me? Yeah. God bless you.